Hello and welcome to The Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today we're going to be showing you exactly how to take the faceplate off your Xbox One S controller and replace it with one of Extreme Rates faceplates. Here's the one they sent us. You can visit them at GamingCobra.com or any of the links down below in the description. They sent us a lovely wood grain controller faceplate. There it is. Now do bear in mind you might need adult supervision for this because there are a couple of tricky little bits. Now when you buy their faceplates they do send you some additional screws and a screwdriver but you might need one or two more bits. Now having a look at my original S controller you can see it's something of a dirt magnet. Now fear not because we are going to clean all of this up and have a brand new fresh looking wood grain controller. Trust me, this will look good. So beside the con uh, the screwdriver, you are going to want to consider getting yourself a spudger. I will show you one of those shortly. So to start modding your controller, just take out the battery, take off the battery cover, and you're on your way. The next thing you're going to need to do is to remove the sticker which covers the first of our screws. Now I just used a pen knife. This is where you're going to need adult supervision. You're just going to need to lift the corner there until you can get your finger on the sticker. Now don't worry, it's not a paper sticker, it is a plastic sticker. So you can pull and pull and pull and it's not going to leave any residue and it's not going to tear and you can put it back after use. So there you go, you can see the first of our five screws we need to remove in order to take off the faceplate. Now I did rate this at the beginning of the video about a 6 out of 10 for difficulty because some of these screws can be tough to take off and put back in and the side grip panels that you are going to see after I do this screw are notoriously difficult the first time you try to remove them. So do go and get someone responsible and we will not be held accountable if you break your controller. Okay, You are doing this off your own back. Do take care if you're going to do this. Please, please take care. So the first screw's out and we're going to remove these side panels here. So the first thing you want to do, push in your trigger and just get your thumb in there and pop the top. Now there's lots of little locking points for these side panels. So I went away and I got a spudger. Okay, so there's a spudger. It's just a little plastic hook type thing that you can just pry open uh, bits and pieces. So you slide your thing in there and you just pop, 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 pop. It's very, very tough. It took me about two minutes to do this. But once you've got a number of the little clasps, not clasps, just uh, joins, uh, popped, then you can just reach your fingers in and pop it out. It's as simple as that. You will need to use force, so be careful, okay, because there is a chance if you're too rough. I was very rough and I didn't actually break mine, but just be warned, okay? There's always that chance. Be careful. So there's me using the spudger just to loosen, and it flew off. It is quite tough, but do be careful, all right? So we're going to remove two screws, one at the top next to the trigger and one right down the bottom here. And that is the same on each of the grips, okay? So there's four screws in total to take off at this point. So let's just do that. Speed up the video so you don't get bored. There we go. And two more. Now it's up to you if you want to clean your controller as you go, please do so, but be careful, obviously, when the controller is apart because you don't want any loose bits falling out. I have chosen to clean my controller after I reassemble it. So that's all there is to removing the faceplate, is five screws. So we're gonna pop our new extreme rate faceplate over the top and reverse the process. It is as simple as that. There you go, that's how it's eventually gonna look. And it's a soft touch faceplate. This, it feels really, really gorgeous. So we're just gonna hold it in place with our hand while we get one of the original screws. Now do remember if you lose one of the screws, there's a bag of screws that are included when you buy one of these extreme rates uh, covers or faceplates. So let's just whiz through this. I'm gonna start with the bottom screws. There we go, there's one, and there's two. Now the first time you do this, it's gonna to be tough to get them screws in because this is a brand new faceplate, all right? Brand new, first time it's been screwed into. So there we go, there's four. Now do remember, grab your knife, be careful, you use an adult supervision, use an adult supervision, use an adult to 
do this part. Don't use the adult, ask the adult. Ask the adult nicely if they will do that part for you. And then screw in the top one and you can just place the sticker back over and it's as good as new. So I'm just gonna pop on the grips there and they just push in, just use two thumbs and a tiny bit of force and they should just click in as good as new. At this point, before you pop them in, you might wanna just clean the, uh, just the joins of any grub and battery and battery cover and pow, there you go. So let's show you a close up of our newly modded Xbox One S controller. Here it is, I've switched over to my phone camera just so um, I can give you a good old 360 of the controller. It looks gorgeous. It really, really does. Controller is in perfect nick. I've given it a bit of a clean up with a baby wipe and a microfiber cloth. Didn't spend very long cleaning it. I also used the spudger just to get back into any of the cracks to remove any, any last little few bits of dirt that are knocking around. I'm very, very pleased with that. Now, these items are on sale presently at time of me recording this video. We're coming up to Prime Day. If you go on uh, the extreme rates pages within Amazon, you'll be able to pick these up nice and cheap. This one here is about £12. I believe that's going to be under 15 or so dollars US, but you'll find all the links in the description below. And uh, let me know what you think about my wood grain soft touch. Xbox One S controller. Are you a fan? Do you not like this? Let me know what what kind of fascia you'd go for if you were to do this mod yourself. Hey, you can even send us photos of your modded controllers over on our Twitter page, at Gamesshed. And here's some close-up photographs I took of our modded controller. Very, very pleased indeed. It's absolutely wonderful, really nice soft touch, and uh, it is now my go-to controller. So thanks for watching guys, remember to hit that thumbs up, and until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.